I want to show this um, surprising little s snake. It's a, it is a snake, it bends around, but it has a very high expansion of about, um, well, it expands to about 185% of its initial length. It's a little bit of springy, but when you pull it a bit harder, it does that. Now it's, you can spin it around. It's quite strong. I'm holding it right from the top there. It's about uh, I don't know, 40 centimetres long. And that will shrink right down in a repeatable way. Well, I'll just work the end of it. I'll take the end of it off. It's a repeatable expansion. The end wrecked because I was pinching it too hard at the top when I was holding it. It's completely repeatable. In, in this form, it's extremely bendy. You could bend it around easily and make a make it shine. I don't know if I've still got that. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. No, I, I can't do it because I've got the wrong number of pieces. I could. Uh, yeah, it's obvious you could make a loop. At the moment, I haven't got the right um, number of pieces, but we'll easily make a loop. It's made. Um, from very, from little three loops like that, and from these, and those two are the only subunits. Well, you make up bigger subunits from them. Okay, to make this one, take a loop of twelve and just squeeze three off it, and bend it around and make one of these. I'll do that again. Get that one off camera. A loop of 12, and you only have 3 on it, and then bend the 3 around inside to make this. Well, that's the fastest way I've found anyway. Make 2 of those, and you put them together, not like that, like that. And then you fold them either down or up. All right? If you fold them one way, it'll give you one polarity. If you fold it the other way, it'll give you the other polarity. Now, I've made 2 here, which I've, I've arranged to be of the same polarity like that. And that's the ones that the neighbouring ones must be of opposite polarity. These are the same. If they're the same, then they line up perfectly like that. And we make one of I'll just make one of them opposite by just inverting the fold. And now you'll see they don't want to line up like that. They want to line up in, uh, interstitially. Once they've done that, you make up some little triangles. Now it's good to have the triangles hanging. So, you know, supported by something like this. And in fact, you can make a little um, chain of triangles if you want to, which I do. And you just put the triangle in one spot. Luckily, that was the right way. Now, this is actually a very finicky step. It's hard to make the triangle sit in the right gaps. And it's not sitting in the right gaps at the moment. So you've got to sort of try and push it into the right right way without it actually doing that, which it, I was not able to do. I'll try it again. Now I find if it's, if it's a, sort of a joining like that there, then it'll join right here. And you let it lay down and then you pinch it off. Devilishly tricky. It takes a bit of practice to get that right. There may be a better way, I'm sure someone will come up with a better way. And you just put them together like that. You carefully line them up and put them together. Now if they're opposite polarities, that'll work. Now I don't know if these ones are opposite polarities. This step, surprisingly, is, is a little easier to get right. Because you line them up together and you try and push them. And if they don't want to push, they just won't go in. Alright, now that wrecked the, the through loop there. And what I've found, if you're going to fiddle with the three loops, do it in the expanded state. Because in the other state, it's, it's much easier to mess it up. Alright, so I've got to dick of that back into its right position. Which it's refusing to do. Alright, so it is a little bit finicky, there it is. And then... I'll, just, um, I'll turn that around now. On the other end, 
yeah, see, and it just clicked on. If I'd been a little bit more aware, I would have felt the resistance when I put it in the, the wrong way. And I would not push pushed it in so hard. And there we have it, that's all. It's done.